back to Sidebar. Hello, I'm with Raphael de Klerk. He is the Executive Vice President of Distributed Solutions and Strategy for EDF Renewable. So welcome to Sidebar. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Razor. So I wanted to start with a question just about what it is, <laughs> what exactly your, your division focuses on. Like, what, what is your team really focusing on strategy-wise? Yeah, so we, we are part of EDF Renewables, mm -hmm. and we complement the offering of very large wind farms and solar farms that EDF has done traditionally in the US mm -hmm. with sub-30 megawatt projects that we do on-site or off-site for our customers. And those projects can be solar, they can be storage, and they can be also electric vehicle smart charging programs, and we integrate all of that with an energy management system right. that coordinates the whole thing. So you have a software that, that helps with the Yes, so you exactly. manage that on uh, for your clients? Exactly, we manage that for our clients. That's mostly for our corporate customers. We also serve some load serving entities, so munis and co-ops that are not interested in a 100 megawatt mm -hmm. wind farm that's mm -hmm. 100 miles away. They want mm -hmm. something that is five megawatt, and that's right where their, mm -hmm. their customers are. So do you have a particular um, region where this seems to be striking a chord most, like st particular state or country? I think it's, it's um, really across the US, but the Northeast and California are the two places mm -hmm. where we get the most traction. California is great for electric vehicles because the adoption rate is, is higher and solar plus storage is gaining a lot of traction here. So do you see where, where companies are adding on things or do they start all ho whole hog? You know, in other words, do they start with solar mm -hmm. and then kind of spread out over time or, or are people more in people really trying to do the, the complete solution. I, I think you, you, you're right. It typically starts from one angle and then the, the, the corporates are going to realize that hey, we can do more to decrease our footprint, to uh, greenify our electricity mm -hmm. and to reduce our cost. So I'll give you an example. We had a customer in, the, in Southern California. They were interested in the EV charging part of our business. So we installed EV chargers and if, if just a few months later, we got a call, the customer was saying, hey, that's great, but you created an issue here. We have a peak in the morning because everybody comes in, plugs their car. It's great that the adoption rate of the electric vehicle has increased thanks to the chargers you've installed, but now we have a peak in the morning. So what can we do about this? And then we looked at what, what they had and built a smart charging solution mm -hmm. that included some solar, some storage, and we had a full microgrid for them. But it started from right. the electric vehicle charging stations. So California, very concerned with grid resilience and, and so forth. Um, how, so how much is resilience a factor for these, these customers and these companies that are investing in your service? So it's, a, it's, it's a, um, an increasingly important point for our customers. So far what happens is our customers are interested. When we show the bill, the interest diminishes. <laughs> I think okay. it's because we have, it, there will probably be a before and after September 2019 mm -hmm. because what, mm. what the, the outages that, that were sure. announced and the angst that it created is really making our customers realize in some part of California, mm -hmm. we have to take this seriously. The, the business impact can be huge. So I see this as a very big trend in 2020. Okay. The resilience theme is gonna come up and I think our customers will act on, on this. So, ooh boy. So I, I'm, I've got a couple of questions. I've only got one chance for one. So I'm gonna kind of roll it up. So what advice would you give to an organization that's just started thinking about this from a holistic standpoint? And you know, how concerned should they be with with the technology? Should they just really look at the overall solution and, and sort of work with a company like your own to, to figure it out? Yeah, so I will certainly tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, I know. But, but <laughs> I think the, the, the first thing you said is, it's a company that's looking at an integrated solution. That's a very good start. It's the right place to start. If you really want to have a huge impact, start with looking at what you have, define your goal, and do not just look at EV chargers. Mm -hmm. Look at the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Don't forget energy efficiency. It's this the, the, the best, uh, the cleanest megawatts you have are those you don't consume. So start with energy efficiency and then define those goals. Add some solar. The one thing I'll say is stay away from RFPs. They will be very, very uh, tempting, but you need to have a partner that's going to help you to mm -hmm. define where you want to put mm -hmm. your, your renewable mm -hmm. energy. Okay, well, Raphael, thank you for joining us here at Sidebar. Thank you very much, Heather. And uh, with that, uh, we'll be back in a moment after this brief break.